welcome back to another video with Karen Zima. Now today we're going to work on this lovely landscape. I just love my landscapes, my portraits, my cityscapes, my wildlife, my birds, my still lives. I just love it all. But today we're going to work on this. Very colorful, looks good from a distance, on a wall, very, very pretty scene. Stay tuned, I'll show you how I created it. If I can do it, you can do it. Stay tuned, I'll show you how. I'm very excited. We're going to be doing another landscape. My landscapes have been going over pretty well and I've been getting requests to do more landscapes. So I am going to do this lovely one here. It's going to be a summer day. The mountains are going to be yellowy mountains on both sides. Maybe like a greenish, bluish mountain there. Now the sky is going to be kind of plain because I don't want to get it too busy with the mountains and the reflection and just the still calmness of this whole scene. Uh, maybe a little bit of wispy clouds or something I'll put in, but not, not a lot of puffy clouds floating by. And we have some rocks in the water. And what I'm going to try and do with the water is there's going to be like muddy rocks under the water. So you'll see a little hint of the water flowing over these rocks. And the reflection is going to be very pretty and just a very nice summer scene. So let's get started on this. I can't wait. Now today, some of the colors I put out was very colorful, doesn't it? We're going to start with the sky. So we'll go with the sky colors first. It's an ultramarine, like a baby blue, and then like a pale, light cloudless blue. Then we have two browns over here, a dark and a lighter. We have our spicy pumpkin orange, a red, three different shades of yellow. There's a bright, a real light one, and kind of a medium in between those two. Then I have two greens, a really dark, like holly green, and then a lighter color. And I have black and white in the middle, of course. So let us start with the sky. Let's get going on this project. All right now. Start by letting Let's give it a little spritz. It's not too complicated. I know I have things sketched out where I want them, but you can just follow along and it shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, so let's get out a nice brush. We're going to start with our darkest blue. Ultramarine, I guess it is. Let's put some water on it. And just put that in. Nice summery day. And we're going to lighten it up. We're just, I always put down uh, just a layer of color. So we have somewhere to start, something for it to stick to. Dries really quickly because it is acrylic paints and we're only using water. Almost like a watercolor. Only I do like acrylics better for some reason. And then I like oils too. And one of these days, I get back to my oil painting. And I miss it. Alright. Now these two mountains over here are going to be yellow tones. And I did another really nice uh, landscape video with yellow mountains. It's called Mellow Yellow. You might want to check that out. It's one that everybody can use. And just never give up. The more you practice, you do this every day if you can, or the more you do it, just the better you're going to get. Alright, now I'm going to blend that out. Blendy, blendy. Alright, now it'll dry faster and I can put on another layer. I'm going to do that right now. It's going to be darker at the top. The skies are always darker at the top and they get lighter as they do.
do is I'm going to take this baby blue and I am going to put it right over top. colors. I don't know what I'm going to need yet, but uh, this, this is what I put out. I put out a baby blue because I'm going to open the sky some more. A little bit of red because maybe I want a couple of red tones in there. And two different yellows. That one's bright and this one's more mellowed down. Now there's a light one too. I got a brown, kind of a flesh color, a little bit of purple, black and a light, the phthalo green, Mars black, and these two oranges. One's more coral, one's more pumpkin-y and a bright red. Those are the colors. Alright, so what I want to do, I'm not quite happy with the clouds. I want them like fluffier, like just barely there kind of summer, summer clouds. So what I'm going to do is kind of dry brush them in. And what I mean by dry brush is the brush has to be completely dry. And we're just going to kind of scrub them in. So let's get a little bit of white. And I'm going to warm it up with a little bit of yellow. Here. 
and just start playing with the details of the mountain. Here on this mountain, with uh, I'm going to get some of this phthalo green. A little water on it. Put some brown in it. A little more brown. And there's going to be like bushes, oh, bushes on this mountain. Fur trees. So I'm going to get my phthalo 
a little bit of black. Take a look, see if there's any areas you want to continue to work on. I'm going to call this quits. I'm happy with the way it came out. Just love all the colors in this. I love my bold colors. So, if you had fun watching, give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So, keep on practicing. Till next time. Bye-bye.